It's been a while. After my silent battle with the virus, I can safely announce that I'm still here. And <laughs> grab a seat, boys and girls. Let me tell you. Let me show you. One of the beautiful bases of the purest anarchy experience in bedrock. 2b2e.org And for this video, I'll be joined in with some of its builders. Welcome to another relaxing video. Welcome to Sakura. So this was the first time that I spent like an hour with a female on the server. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a girl. It, it almost felt what like it, it almost felt like a date. Isn't your sister almost kind of an e-girl now since she plays Minecraft? Yes. She had green things. Okay, so uh, tell us about uh, this uh, first build. Uh, Sydney says this is where you make your potions. Oh, that is the shrine. So what PJ did is he looked up a tutorial on how to build a Japanese shrine. Now in the real world, Japanese shrines, these are dedicated to certain gods or goddesses of the Shinto religion of Japan mm -hmm. and when you go there you basically do the rituals in accordance to the gods or goddesses I'm not an expert here yeah, yeah. I, I'm not going to pretend to know Japanese culture but that's it's, it's, yeah. kind of what I know about Japanese shrines and that's yeah, cool. kind of what we were going with with having the potions in the Japanese shrine now whose who's house is this? Diamond Place. Who, who is Diamond Place? Oh, that's PJ's IRL friend. Oh, okay. Finally! He shows up! Right as we're recording. Man, I showed up before you. Get out of here. Okay, True Fate's house is really simple. <laughs> Sydney says. <laughs> <laughs> True Fate's house. Okay, and uh, this is like you guys have your own storage, storage, right? This is your stuff. This is by your bakery, yes. I think. I think I remember what you're talking what? about. The thing with all the hay bales around it. What makes your sandwiches special, Maka? What'd you say? What makes your sandwiches special? <laughs> because I'm a woman. Why should I? Why should I eat your sandwich? Because I have a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, only women can make good sandwiches. Because they belong in the kitchen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so what, what tower is this? Belong in the kitchen? Uh, tower? Who made this? Who made this tower? That tower, okay. Now we move on to uh, the, your brick yeah. house. Again, tell us why yeah. you made a brick house. <laughs> Alright, so that is a recreation of a building near my house. And I basically did that to flex the fact that I have bricks. Mm -hmm. And the only other people on the server that have bricks, at least at that time, it was just me, Sydney, and Big O. But now it's kind of expanded since Fog took some of Sydney's bricks. Okay, this. No, Fog has his own. Okay, Fog tell... has his own, he doesn't share. Uh, tell yeah, me about this one. Tell me about this build. Uh, the brick house? No, this one. Uh, the melon. Uh, melon the castle. The melon castle. Alright, that's another one made by PJ. He has some 
obsession with melons. Uh -huh. I don't know. A little less cringy than Coin Timmer, but yeah, he just he really loves melons for some reason, and he just decided to build a castle out of it for his dedication. I don't know. Okay, now we move on to the Echo Inn. Chufei, oh, tell me about it. Okay, so um, in the original Echo Island, I built like a small hotel out of birch wood and cobblestone, and I just had some uh, mycelium in my ender chest, just mm -hmm. saying, why not make a hotel? And I had like eight stacks of birch logs in my inventory, so why not do a hotel? Cool, 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 and uh, I was just guest for a uh, moment. Oh, uh, this is the unfinished uh, uh, building of Sydney, I think, yeah? What? Tower? Yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah, I can on that. Well, we'd agree to you. This is what... What is this supposed to be? A tower? Oh no, I got bored. <laughs> <laughs> now we move on to the Sakura Tree. Who made this? Alright, that's me. Okay. And basically what I did is... I don't know, that entire tree is basically just me being random. I just place down the blocks randomly to create the trunk. I just made it look trunkish, and then what I did was I placed blocks of, it was, let me remember, it was stained pink glass, it okay. was pink wool, and then it was pink terracotta. And I just kind of spread it around in different areas and tried to make it look circular. But as you can see, I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm not the greatest builder on 2B2E, but I try. Who made uh, the Melon Church, though? That is also PJ. And once again, his dedication to melons. What he basically did is he baptized everyone in the melon church by having this these melons and he'd enchant them and name them. Or he wouldn't enchant them, he'd just name them and then he'd give them to us and be like, you're baptized. And I'd be like, yay, <laughs> hooray. Okay, so um, last question. What's, what's in store for Sakura? Are you coming back to it? Are you abandoning it? Are you griefing it? What? Abandoning it. That, that's kind of where I am at right now. I'm pursuing other projects, you know, the thing that we're doing same, and then I'm doing stuff with Japan, and then helping Fog out here and there. For the time being, I'm just having it as a sort of shelved project to go back to when I have nothing else. Okay, pretty cool base. Right now. Pretty cool base, I can say. And uh, thank you so much for accommodating me, guys. And uh, see you on your next base. Okay. Thank you, sir. And that is Sakura, my friends. Special thanks to Baka Baka Nanko for bringing me here and to Sydney for touring me, as well as to True Fate for baptizing me. You guys have a great day, and thanks for watching. <laughs>